All right, we're back in business. We're going to uh, boot back up. We're going to boot back up. Start the game. All right. Let's put the scenario disk in. And we will get our party loaded. So I am playing Wizardry, the original Wizardry, Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord, which was the first one in the series. I played this game a lot in high school. Um, I used to break into the math class uh, where the two computers in the school were. We had an Apple II Plus and then later we got an Apple II Plus and an Apple IIe. Um, and I used to break into the school on the weekends, sneak upstairs to the math room and sit there and play wizardry all day long. <laughs> so yeah, don't, my first delinquency was in high school playing computer games. So I don't know if that uh, predetermined my destiny or not, but here we are. So. Um, the first official um, feed for Twitch will really be on Friday. I'm going to play H1Z1, and then on Sunday I'm going to play Homeworld. The um, and both of those games I've spent very little time in, other than installing them and make sure that they that they work. Um, so it'll be fun to watch me noob sauce my way through those uh, those two games and see how I do. Um, I got a feeling it's going to be ugly. <laughs> there will probably be some deaths involved, especially in H1Z1. Since the very first, my very first experience in that was I, I got in the game, killed a zombie with a claw hammer, looted him, and somebody ran over me with a car. So um, <laughs> that was that. Um, anyway, so we're going to play a little Wizardry, which is the classic RPG game based, you know, a lot of the rules here you see are based on Dungeons and Dragons. You set up a party of six characters, you take them down in a dungeon, you crawl, and away you go. And the uh, the cool thing about it is that it's hardcore. I mean, your characters can die. They're weak. Um, it costs money to res them. You can't just, just res them. And sometimes the resurrections don't work and they die and turn to dust and they're gone forever. Um, there was a recovery disc process you could use, but within the mechanics of the game, there was no way to recover them. Um, you know, so, and, and again, it had all of the things that kind of predated uh, a lot of the other computerized adventure games. Um, some of the other ones that were out there during this time were like Temple of Apshai and some other ones, but uh, this one was the, the king in my mind. And then uh, there's no mapping feature. You had to use graph paper to map it out or you could buy maps and literally get paper shipped to your house. That's what I did. And um, so anyway, it'll be fun. We'll just do it. We'll, I've got a party made up. Uh, they're all like level one characters. I'll throw them in here. We'll run around in level one a little bit. I'll talk about it. Um, if you've never played Wizardry before, you'll see a lot of this looks very familiar, but um, very low res. So um, away we go. So the first thing we got to do is put our party together. We go to Gilgamesh's Tavern because where better to get a party than in a tavern? So we're going to add some members. Um, I've got uh, Play as one of them. Um, there's no mouse in this game. This is all keyboard. So the only time you see me grabbing a mouse, and I'm going to get it out of the way, is when I'm pointing something out typically. So there's play, my neutral fighter with armor class of four and nine hit points. I'm gonna add Tad, who is also a fighter. He has seven of 10 hit points. He's not fully rested because I actually had these guys down in the dungeon, killed the game before I brought him back up to the adventures in, so they were all out. So then you have to use a utility to bring them back. So don't do that. Always come back to the castle before you shut the game off or save it um, so that you can make sure that they're not out and have to recover them, it's a pain. And there's also sometimes you get a 10 year penalty if you do that. So we're going to add our thief. So um, the typical build, now everybody has their own builds. Again, you've got six characters. You build, um, you build, oh, wait a minute. This should be live. Am I live? Yeah, I'm live. Okay. Yep, I'm live. So um, you build uh, six characters. You typically have. Uh, two fighters, a thief, two mages, and a priest. Uh, that's the typical build. There's also bishops and lords and other things you can get later. But the, the, the vanilla build, as it were, uh, is typically that. And, um, and that's what we're going to do. So the, uh, my, my build is that just that. Two fighters, a thief. You have a thief primarily for uh, a lock-picking chess um, because a lot of these chests are trapped and the thieves have high uh, agility and that gets around the traps. Mages, uh, glass cannons, just like other games, um, they have sleep spells and fire spells and frost spells and, and do a lot of DPS from range. And then your priest is your healer 
and um, he keeps everybody alive, especially early on, because these characters are very fragile early on. So we've got play Tad Lenny. Um, let's add, I need a mage. Mage, mage, mage. Uh, Flister, I believe, is my mage, one of my mages, yep. And then, Hubert's my priest. I'll stick him in between. So we're gonna add Hubert. And then I've got one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Who am I missing? Biff? Oh, Biff. Where's Biff? Yeah, I need to add Biff. There we go. So fight, fighter, fighter, thief, mage, priest, mage. And um, again, the um, first three characters in your party are the ones that have the fight options. So they can, they're usually the weapon wielding type guys. So that's why the two fighters and the thief are up front. And order does matter. You can change the order at the edge of town right before you go into the dungeon or if you camp when you're in the dungeon, um, or you do it when you're back here at the castle. So, uh, oh, and uh, a little background on wizardry if you're not familiar. The, um, so, Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord was the first one. There was a whole series of them. There's actually eight. Wizardry eight was the last one I really paid any attention to. Um, wizardry one, two, and three, so are really the three that were um, at the height of the popularity. Um, Wizardry 1, and then Wizardry 2, which was Knights of Diamonds, and then Wizardry 3, which is Legacy of Lily Game. And, um, that one was really revolutionary just because you actually get a full screen 3D dungeon rather than uh, the little corner window of a 3D dungeon, which again at the time was just mind blowing. And then, um, and then Wizardry 4 and 5, which were kind of middling. Wizardry 5 was really the last one I played a lot, um, and that was Heart of the Maelstrom. But Wizardry 1, 2, 3, I lost my life to. I actually still have the boxes and the discs and everything else too for a long time. So, okay, characters built, or party built. They're in the right order. We're going to hit the edge of town. Now here you go into the maze. We hit M. We're going to go enter the Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord. Um, we're going to run around to level 1 here because we really can't go anywhere beyond that or we're going to die. Oh, and actually, you know what? Um, i got to go back up anyway. You'll notice that some of these guys do not have full health because I had them down in the dungeon, which means their spell points and their hit points are not at max, which means I can't cast spells, and uh, that's a bad thing. So I made that mistake once before, and then you uh, die quickly. So we're gonna go back upstairs, back at the castle. We are going to stay at the Adventurer's Inn, stay with Tad, stay in the cot. You know, he doesn't have any money, so he will stay at the stables. And then two, B, Oh, he has money. So basically, you stay and then you heal up. And each one of these, each one of these, the cost, the economy, the merchants, the royal suites, um, cost more, but they also heal more, uh, depending upon which one you stand. There's usually a lot of cot time early on in this game, not a lot of anything else. So three, B. Uh, oh wait a minute, three, B. Four, B. Five, B. This is important to do even if you're at max um, because you rest and you um, it allows you to, we'll just take a quick look here. We will look at, let's look at Hubert for example. The, um, it renews your spell points back. So you'll look at, if you look in the middle of the screen, you've got um, where it says priest. I have two priest spells that are the, be the beginner spells. And this will go down to one when you cast one, and then zero. So basically, I have two spells I can cast, and then I have to rest to get those spells restored. And um, if you don't do that, when you come back up, you go back down, you still have no spells. And you try to cast a spell, you're in a big fight, and all of a sudden it'll say, spell points exhausted, and you're going, crap. And then you're going to die, because this game is hardcore like that. So we are going to leave. Now we're going to go to the edge of town, we're going to go to the maze. Everyone's rested up, everyone has spell points. Everyone's at max health, but you see, if you notice, you look, the, even the, I mean, these are level one guys, they are very fragile. If you look at like Biff, he's got two hit points, that's it. So we're gonna leave the camp. So he can take one hit, maybe two hits with, you know, one hit point each. And that's what you get here early on. So no, the cool thing, the other th cool thing about this game was this was the game that really started the whole WASD thing. Um, uh, this was the first game that I remember using WASD to move around because that's what you use to move around in the dungeon. You get the little 3D window in the corner um, and WASD to move left, right, up, you know, forwards and backwards. And uh, so that was kind of cool. So let's, we're going to turn right and then we're going to go forward. 
and as you can see the groovy 3D window in the corner. And uh, we're going to go here, and then we're going to turn left, and there's a door. You can't just walk through them like that sound. You got to K, hit K to kick. Kick it. No, nope, nothing in this room. Sometimes you can wander around a room and you'll get an encounter, but you know, there's nothing in here. So we'll go back out. We're going to go back down the hallway. We are not going to go back up the stairs. We're still on the first level of the dungeon here. Oh, and then we had an encounter. And we've got four undead kobolds. So I'm going to go fight, fight, fight. And then Flister is a mage. He's going to cast a spell. Um, again, you got to just know the spell names. Um, I'm going to cast Katino, which is a sleep spell. Qbert is not going to do anything. He's going to parry because I'm going to save those spell points for healing. And then Biff is also going to cast Katino because the whole idea is that I went all in the sleep and then they're easy to kill. So we're going to go spell Katino, which is a sleep spell. We're going to hit go. Oh, Tad just got hammered. And actually, you know what? Oof. Yeah. So they're undead. I don't think I can sleep undead kobolds now that I think about it. I know that you can sleep humanoids and orcs and uh, those kinds of things, uh, kobolds, but I don't think you can sleep undead. I don't know, but if you look at hit points, you'll see that Tad's got six of ten. He got hit for four damage. If that would have happened to Biff, Flister, or Lenny, they would have all been dead. <laughs> so not a whole lot of margin for error. So we're going to, again, we're going to go fight. Fight, fight, and then this guy is going to spit. I'm going to cast Halito. Halito is a uh, small flame spell, so it does a little bit of damage to them, but at this level, that's all you need. Qbert is going to cast a healing spell. It's called Dios. He's going to cast that on Tad, and then Biff is going to cast Halito also. We're going to try to get these guys out of here. Bam! One's dead. Tad fully healed. Play got hit for four damage. Oh, Flister cast a spell. Undo. He got three damage. Play killed one. Nice. Lenny's a klutz. He missed. So there's still two undead kobolds. You'll notice the the, uh, the number in parentheses is how many are awake too. So if you cast a sleep spell on them, it says two zero. You got two guys there, but both of them are sleeping. So um, that's kind of cool and. Um, uh, uh, a fun thing to put them to sleep and then you just kill them and you loot them and you're on your way. So we're going to go fight, 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 and then I'm going to parry, and then the priest is going to cast a spell on play, which is Dios, um, because that's a healing spell, so he doesn't die, and then Biff's just going to parry. One down, one to go. Play got healed. Good thing he missed. I should be able to kill him. There we go. Tad killed him. Okay, all the undead kobolds are dead. 153 XP, got some loot, 16 gold, and away we go. So we're gonna camp here real quick though. And I'm gonna look at my guys. Yeah, see, you'll notice here, I got no spells left. So no spells, and the only way to get those back is to uh, rest. So we're going to leave the camp. Come on, leave the camp. And then we are going to go back upstairs. Ouch. Yeah, love that sound. That is high quality sound. And again, the, the, this was a big deal. We haven't ran into any monsters that are in color yet, but this is the color version. This is the 2E color version. And back in the day, I was playing this on a green screen. And then when the 2E came out in color, it was just like, what the? So again, we're going to rest up real quick. Cots to be oh yeah to be so 645 XP for each of these guys, roughly. Lenny 711. Flister needs 745. Cubert needs 695. Biff 745. So now, just to make sure before we leave town, we'll go to Gilgamesh's Tavern. We'll look at one of these guys now. Let's look at Qbert, and you'll see that he has two spells again. So his spell points aren't exhausted. And again, that's pretty important because you uh, forget that. You go into an encounter and you've got no heals or damage spells, you're going to die in a hurry. So we'll go back to the maze. 
and see what we got. One more run. We'll make one more run. This was really just a test run to make sure that the uh, that the sound and the video and the, everything uh, is working as advertised. It's also fun. I figured this is the appropriate first uh, video to do for uh, for GreatGamer.com since it's about us mature gamers. <laughs> and a lot of us, anybody over 40 probably played this game or some variant of it, maybe the later versions, but this was the first one. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go right and we're gonna go forward. And then we're going to go to the door. And again, you got to hit K, kick, to go into a door. And, oh, look at that. We've got scruffy men. So here are the scruffy men. I'm going to fight them. First three characters, fight, fight, fight. And then Flister is a mage. I'm going to have him cast a Katino because I'm going to try to put them all asleep. This also prevents them from running, which is kind of nice. And then I'm going to parry with the last two guys. One, two, three... Four, uh, three of the four were slept, which is cool because now I can do a ton of damage because when they're slept, obviously, it's a little easier to hit them. Alright, so now you'll see in the screen you've got three scruffy men and only two of them are awake. So I got one guy that's still asleep. So we're going to do the same thing again. Fight, fight, fight. Uh, we're going to go parry. Harry, and then this guy, I'm going to have him cast a Halito, which is a small flame spell. I think I said that before. Oh, let's see, the one guy ran. I'm trying to keep him from running. Ah, quit running away. I see now that spell just got wasted because they all ran away. Oh, there's one guy left. He's sleeping. Fight, fight, fight. Parry, parry, parry. He's dead. So now I get some experience in loot. Now remember, all these guys had to get about 600 XP, so I'm, I'm hoping to stay down long enough and get around 600 XP, go back up, level all these guys up. Now here's a chest. The, these things will kill you too. So usually you use your thief to inspect, and um, Lenny is my thief, and it wasn't trapped. Because um, he has high agility, and a lot of times he, he can detect what the trap is and then try to disarm it. When you get higher level, you get good at it. Lower level, a lot of times you just poison yourself and blow yourself up. All right, so now we're going to go down the other area. That's the stairs back to the castle. We're not going there. We're going to go over here. Ouch, don't run into walls. Here's another entrance. We're going to go in, and there's nothing here. Sometimes you get lucky. So we'll go to the next room. And there's an encounter. It looks like skeletons. Skeletons or cobalt? Ah, uh, skeletons. A staple of the gaming uh, world. So we're gonna go fight, 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 and then we're gonna go spell Holito, and we're gonna parry with the mage because I wanna save his spells for heals, and then we're gonna go spell Holito. So I got two fire spells. This should soften him up a little bit. Oh, Tad took five damage. Oh man, see, I'm, I'm just so weak at the beginning. Yeah, I'm glad they miss every once in a while. Oh, look at that. Tad got slain. <laughs> right off the bat, dead. So my one, one of my fighters is dead. Uh, that's how that works. So now I've got fight with one fighter, fight with a thief who's lousy. Uh, my mage, I think I still have a Halito spell. I, I don't think I can Katino skeletons, but I'll try it. Nope. He's got no spells left, so he's going to fight with his stick, with his uh, staff. Cubert, he can cast Bad Dios, and, and then Biff, I believe, has a Catino spell also. Nope, he's exhausted. So there you go. Flister's dead. <laughs> I got two guys dead. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to die. Nice. Nice. Yeah, everyone's taking lots of damage. Two of my characters are dead. Oh, by the way, this is the third room on the first level. So welcome to hardcore, all you uh, games who say that you're hardcore. Um, so yeah, so now we're going to fight. Fight. I have a priest, and I'm going to keep my fighter alive. So I'm going to cast a spell called Dios on play. And then this guy's going to parry. Good. Okay, so... I've only killed one out of all the skeletons. <laughs> okay, two are dead. I might make it out of here. So three undead kobolds. So we're gonna do the same thing again. Fight, fight. 
fight. Oh, you know what? Ugh, oh, that was dumb, Perry. Let's go back. I forgot my priest can dispel. Ugh. Oh. Why didn't I do that before? Dispel. Undead. Priest can dispel undead. Parry. Oh, look at that. Dissolved. Stupid. There we go. One left. One left. Fight, fight, fight. Parry, parry. Come on. There we go. Dead. Finally. Two of my guys died. Five of theirs died. Everybody else is alive. We got 230 XP. Now we got a chest. It'll probably kill somebody else, but we'll try it. We're going to inspect it. We've got my thief, so Lenny. Oh, look, and he set off a poison needle. Now he's poisoned, and he's got two health. That's awesome. Which means he will die every so many steps I take. So he may be dead by the time I get back to the castle. And I'm on the first level in the third room. Thanks for playing. And he's dead. <laughs> So, so there you go. Uh, hardcore at its finest. Uh, we're trying to get back to the top of the dungeon without dying yet again. And here we are. And half of my party is dead. So there you go. So that's all I'm going to stream for now. Um, I wanted to test the, uh, you know, the camera, the mic, the uh, Twitch and everything else. It looks like everything's working pretty well. And um, I'll throw this up on YouTube well. I'll pull it down off of Twitch and throw it up on YouTube so there's an archive copy up there also. Um, so you can watch it here, you can watch it there. And, um, and I will see you on Friday when we do H1Z1. And every once in a while, if I get requests, I'll probably throw some old school games in here so you can uh, watch me die on these as well. So thanks for coming. Go to greatgamer.com. Um, today, we are giving away a key to Darkest Dungeon. Um, if you sign up and are a member today, you get put into a drawing. We'll, we'll draw it tomorrow randomly, and somebody will get a key to Darkest Dungeon. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to do another drawing for a key for Running With Rifles. Excellent game if you haven't played it or seen it. It's over on Steam. Go check it out also. And uh, have a good time. Keep playing games.